today on an all new Dr. Phil. My daughter thinks she's pregnant and she's not. She actually thinks her baby's Jesus. I am pregnant and it is Jesus. No one is going to deny him because he is my savior. Mom claims her daughter's delusional. Did you tell people you were on American Idol? No. You just now, you said maybe I was. And a compulsive liar. Some of her lies are Eminem was her dad. She donated a kidney to her half-brother. My mom only got pregnant with me because my brother was so sick. You mean like she had you for parts? That's another law. You are not a lie detector test, and you need to shut it. Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. This is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by. We'll count you down. I'll try to be an emotional compass and point you in the right direction. Five. I am not giving up on you. Well, you know, having a baby is a dream come true for most families. Despite the joy, many women just days away from delivery say they are swollen, uncomfortable, can barely walk, and are ready to pop that baby out. My next guest, Haley, says she's nine days away from giving birth, and she looks like this. Her mom, Christy, and sister, Adriana, say they are at their wit's end because Haley is a delusional liar. Now, that's their terms, not mine. Now, according to them, Haley's lies include telling people that rap star Eminem is her father, that she's been diagnosed as paranoid schizophrenic, and that she donated a kidney to her brother. Well, according to Mom Christy, Haley is not Eminem's daughter. She's never been diagnosed as paranoid schizophrenic. She's never donated a kidney to her brother. And they say her biggest lie of all is when she says she's nine months pregnant with a son named Jesus. In fact, the soon-to-be-born baby is not just called Jesus because Haley says he is actually the Son of God. Well, the only catch, Christy says Haley is not pregnant. Not even close. I you're not am pregnant. pregnant. You're delusional. You're then crazy. why are you denying my kid? Because you're not pregnant. My daughter thinks she's pregnant and she's not. My daughter is a compulsive liar and delusional. She lives in like her own little fantasy world. My sister Haley is crazy. She actually thinks her baby's Jesus. The first time I heard her say that, she was saying it was Jesus Christ in her stomach. That's all you can say. You're not pregnant. You're not pregnant. I looked at her like she had lost her mind. She was just going off into a delusional tailspin. She's not pregnant and never has been. I gave her two home pregnancy tests and they came up negative and then I took her to the clinic and they even did a pelvic exam and it was all negative. And then I took her to the health department and they gave her a pregnancy test and it came up negative. Where the health Watch department? The health department, they already denied my baby. I'm still showing, he's fully kicking, and I am pregnant. So what are we gonna do about it? If it's coming out of Haley's mouth, it's usually a lie. She manipulates her way through sex, bribing someone. And some of her lies are the rapper Eminem was her dad, she donated a kidney to her half-brother, and that she was a contestant on American Idol. She lies and exaggerates everything. I got a letter in the mail from Medicaid saying she had pregnant woman's Medicaid. It used to be the only way you could get that was if you were pregnant. I think it's impossible for her to be pregnant. I can't keep living like this. We have to treat her like she's actually pregnant to avoid conflict. I'm hoping Dr. Phil can let me know if this is part of her act or does she really need help? What you're going to hear are some really outrageous things that would be pretty funny to hear, but I want to ask you to really restrain yourself and you know not laugh and kind of make a joke out of this because if she is in fact delusional, then she does believe this. 
And so we need to treat all guests with dignity and respect, but certainly someone that might be vulnerable in that regard. So as you just heard, despite two negative home pregnancy tests and four negative urine tests given by doctors, Haley is adamant that she is giving birth in nine days. She says she wants to prove to everyone, including me, that her son, Jesus, is real. There is no what if. I am pregnant. And it is Jesus. I'm nine months pregnant. My family, my friends, my pastors at church, they don't believe that I'm pregnant. I'm not stupid. I'm not crazy. I'm tired of playing these games, and it's about to be over with. I am now days away from giving birth, and they're like, you're not pregnant. You're uh, too tiny. You're probably just getting fat. One of my biggest temptations is wanting to whack you across the head. I know it's Jesus. I don't care if my family disowns me. It really comes down to if you're a true believer in Jesus or not. I know it's Jesus. I know you're crazy. There's no denying that. I know my pregnancy is real. Yeah, I've gained at least 22 pounds. I was sleeping one night and my baby punched the bottom of my stomach and kicked me up. And I can feel his head right here. It's like right below my belly button. I took six urine tests and they all came back negative. So I specifically asked for a blood drawn pregnancy test because I have a rare blood type. The doctors have refused to give me a blood test. I don't care what the home pregnancy test or the doctor say. When I give birth to my baby, no one is going to deny him because he is my savior. Okay, it's good to meet all, all of you. And tell me, Haley, do you feel tension in your family right now? Definitely. And tell me what the tension's about in, in your view. Well, I mean, we are, we still argue a bunch. Like, even the other night, we got into an argument because I was trying to sleep, and they walked in, and she was talking, Adriana was talking loud, and I just started going off, and um, she decided to act like an idiot. We and weren't talking. Started, we she were started recording me, and, um, you know, little things already kind of make me mad, and so we're all, I'm always timid, and it just it feels like it's not going to stop. The okay. whole reason we got in a fight and stuff is because she was acting crazy. She was going off because we had woken up because we were brushing our teeth. And she was just started going ballistic crazy, just yelling and screaming and got in mom's face. And She put her hands on me again in the hotel room. She was talking crazy prior to that incident, to her going off that evening. Mm -hmm. She was saying that she, everybody mm -hmm. was saying GD in her, in her head and... She said it was making her crazy. Okay. Um, well, sorry. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. We were fighting, but my mom had jumped in the middle while she was recording me going nuts. And so I had pushed my mom back because my mom was in my face and Adriana was standing directly behind her. Okay. So I didn't want my mom to get in between me and Adriana oh, no. because she decided that well, she was... No, my mom was in between me. us because you were acting crazy. No, acting you like were you trying, trying to me. swing at me as soon as you walked out of the door. That's so not I had a red mark that one of the guys I have it all noted on, video. on my chest. And I have it all on video. No, not while you were walking yes, out Yes, I do. Door. Okay, who recorded this? I did. Okay. I have a video. Adriana started recording it because she was, they were trying to fight and I was trying to stay in the middle of it, telling them stop, stop, stop. Adriana started recording it and I, I was just trying to make them stop. It got loud, security was called. I was so embarrassed. Well, I know the security was called <laughs> because it's our hotel. I know. Um, and um, they keep us apprised of that. L let's take a look at the video and see what actually happened. You're psychotic, and you need help. I'm sick of it, Haley. Why are you scared? Because you can't cry out to Jesus. Bitch, quit yelling at me. Get the out of mom's face. Get out of my face with your phone. Get the out of mom's face. Get out of my face. Get out of the face. Get out of the face. No. Don't touch me again. You just jumped up on me. I'm pregnant. What do you expect? So things get heated pretty quick. Yes. Definitely. Okay. And... None of you want that. And when you say she's put her hands on you, what do you mean? She shoved me and I fell over the bed because when she shoved me, I, my leg hit the bed and I fell over. 
-hmm. You did not fall over. Yes, she I did. did. And I hit my toe the on the bed. At? It was right after, right before oh, so you, you did that. Oh, you didn't get it recorded? Right before. You didn't get it recorded, did you? Right after that, I did. Did you get it recorded? You she did not hands fall on. over. She, yes, she did. Just like you didn't get it recorded when he hit me, or when you hit me. I do. Yeah, I actually have it the on the video. The hotel guard saw it, and I still probably have the mark. Your understanding is that you're paranoid schizophrenic. Yes, sir. I hear voices in my head all the time. She's never been diagnosed. She diagnosed herself. You're psychotic, and you need help. I'm sick of it, Haley. Why are you scared? Because you can't cry. Face. Get out of my face with your phone. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of the face. Get out of the face. Touch me again. You just jumped up on me. I'm pregnant. What do you expect? So, you guys get combative. Yes. <clears throat> and that's not good, no, right? No. Okay. So, what do you think brings this tension on? Well, I'm already pregnant as it is, and me and my mom, we have never really been very close to begin with, mm -hmm. and I've had all of this going on, and I, I'm a paranoid schizophrenic at that, and they, she knows exactly what pushes my buttons, okay. and she does. How do you know that you're paranoid schizophrenic? Well, when I had got signed into rehab, I... Um, I had to sit down, and after I took in my medications, I was talking to my doctor, and he, you know, he got me kind of high off my medications, and he was, like, asking me a bunch of questions, and he was like, okay, Haley, I'm diagnosing you finally with paranoid schizophrenia, and I was like, I'm not crazy, and, um, he, yeah. and, um, well, I started looking up the symptoms on my phone, trying to figure out more of paranoid schizophrenia for myself. Mm -hmm. And um, I finally had to come to terms with myself that I did have these things. And I started noticing things like, I cannot walk into a room without having to check everywhere, the closets underneath the bed, in the bathroom, and stuff like that, without um, thinking somebody's in there. I can't you know, pee with the light on. Sometimes I take a shower with the light off so I can be more relaxed. And um, it's all um, the symptoms of paranoid schizophrenia and... Okay, so because we've examined the records and, and that diagnosis was not written down. I'm not, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it's not written down. She's never been diagnosed. She diagnosed herself. Okay. Well, I'm talking to her. I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry. on one of my papers. It's specifically <clears throat> under this one paper with a, a little sticky note. And uh, it says she has a disease, a mental disease like paranoid schizophrenia. And I don't know what doctor it was from or anything because I didn't really get a look at the papers. But. Well, well, doctors are very specific about this. So it's not a sticky note definition. It's a, it's a very specific definition diagnosis that's entered in and it, it has to be done for the hospital records and and no one I'm not saying that you're not but no one has ever entered that into your records I'm not saying they shouldn't or maybe they need to don't need to but I got medication for it and everything <clears throat> what did they give you they gave me a uh, triliptal Seroquel mm -hmm. Ativan mm -hmm. an entire list and I mean it was half of what my mom takes my mom takes over 600 milligrams of every prescription that she's prescribed. I got 300 milligrams in Seroquel. Mm -hmm. That can make a person, that'd probably make you sleep for a week. Yeah, it might. But that made me sleep for okay. a while. Well, so your belief is, and I'm not saying I've seen all the paperwork. There may be other paperwork. So your understanding is that you're paranoid schizophrenic. Yes, sir. Okay. And is it your understanding that Schizophrenia is a, is a psychotic disorder. Yes. It's a psychosis. Yes. And is it your understanding that one of the characteristics of psychosis is that you have a difficult time separating reality from fantasy? Definitely. That would be one of the real markers of psychosis. A person that's 
uh, experiencing a psychosis has a difficult time knowing what's real and what's fantasy, uh, what's grounded in reality and is factual versus what they might perceive to be true, but in fact is not something that would be verified by others or would be borne out by verifiable facts. Yeah, like, I, I mean, I hear voices and stuff in my head all the time. Okay. Well, and some that are experiencing an active psychosis have auditory hallucinations. Not all, some. Sometimes, not always, but some people have them sometimes. Uh, do you have any visual hallucinations? Um, do you see things that yes, you've come to believe I aren't actually I've seen shadows. I've, like, ever since I was a little bitty, I've always seen shadows and stuff. Mm -hmm. and um, I hear things and stuff like that, but then I'm actually starting to, <clears throat> like, um, notice some other things, like I said. Um, like, when I was sitting out near the pool the other day, um, I could have sworn that I had heard my mom's mom. Like, I thought I heard her talking, okay. and I started going around the hotel. <clears throat> And um, I've well, seen her shadow, and I've seen, mm -hmm. I've seen her. So. And, and let me say this: the fact that you have an intellectual understanding of this and are able to talk about it and discuss it is very encouraging. The fact that you, you, know, you can experience something emotionally and then intellectually, kind of remove yourself from it and talk about it, it, is very encouraging because it allows you to check yourself and say, well in that I know that I sometimes have a difficult time separating fantasy from reality, so I, I know I have to check myself and rely on someone I trust sometimes or other data to see whether this is real or imagined is very helpful. And, and I have to say, I really object to using the term crazy. That's a derogatory term. And I know you don't mean it in that way. It's just kind of a summary term. Right. But that's a derogatory term because to me, mental illness is just that. It's an illness. Right. It's just like having arthritis or diabetes or something else. There's, there's nothing derogatory about it. But when you say crazy, it's like it's an accusation. Mm -hmm. And if you really believe that she suffers from a mental illness, it would something, I would think it would be something that you would have compassion for her about rather than something you would attack her over. Right. It's kind of hard to have compassion and stuff with her when she's highly disrespectful. She's ungrateful. And every time, you know, I try to do something for her, I don't get, I get yelled at, cussed at, threatened or anything well, else. you understand, so one of the characteristics, her. though, was, of, of certain types of mental illness, yeah, there's I'm a sure. certain narcissistic quality to it, a lack of empathy for right. other per people. They... They, they tend to have an inability to really understand the impact of their actions. Right. So that would, you know, that would go with that. I'm not right. saying it makes it easy to deal with. Right. But if you understand that that's part of what's going on. Let's take a quick break. Next, we're going to find out why uh, Haley says a simple prayer on Christmas Eve is the reason that she's been blessed with her own Savior. We're going to talk about that next. My baby loves chocolate milk. When I drink chocolate milk, like I can feel him kick. Like it's it's a happy kick. His adrenaline rush, plus I can tell when I'm about to have mine. But both of ours combined together, that's not a good feeling at all. He knew I was about to get chocolate milk. <laughs> he sometimes kicks or hits me. He didn't kick this time, he hit me a little bit uh, when I was going to the fridge. And as soon as I opened the door, he hit me a little bit on the bottom of my left side. Haley believes that she is pregnant with an active baby boy who loves it when she drinks chocolate milk and is due in nine days. Uh, her mother, Christy, and her sister, Adriana, say Haley is delusional and there's no way she's pregnant. Haley actually says, I, I agree with part of that. She says, I, I am delusional because she says that she has been diagnosed and in fact accepts the fact that she's paranoid schizophrenic, which is a psychotic disorder, uh, which involves delusions uh, in many cases. Uh, but Haley says they need to face the reality and stop denying 
her baby Jesus. Take a look. I'm naming my baby Jesus. I conceived my baby the night of December 31st, and I was living with my ex. We had had sex that night. I had prayed that I could have a kid. I wanted to start my family. A week or two later, I felt something in my stomach go doom, and I was like, I'm pregnant. He doesn't like that I'm sleeping on my back because he's facing up, like I know, because he hits me and I can feel his little feet. He gets his feet up in my ribs sometimes. Feel it in there, I like breathe really heavily and push him down. And I'm scared that his like little toes are gonna break or something. I'm definitely looking forward to being a mom. I would need a baby crib, diapers, a baby formula. I had like little baby clothes for him and stuff, but it got stolen. I had a baby book for him. I feel like my baby is going to change everything for me because he is something that I have fought so hard for. I had really no love, but every time I feel him kick or when I get something to eat and he pokes out just a little bit more, it makes me realize that I have something, I have a responsibility that I have to take care of and all the petty things in life just seem to vanish. How do you know it's a boy? I can tell because of the colors that I see and... The colors you see? Yes. How so? Because when I finally um, accepted that I was a paranoid schizophrenic, I don't see, I really don't see colors, you know? I don't listen to anybody. I just kind of do my own thing. And I finally started seeing colors. Like, I knew I was pregnant. Like, um, you know, obviously I'm not gonna lie. But um, I started seeing like colors like blue and green. And I was drinking like stuff I wouldn't normally drink, like Mountain Dew and beef jerky and stuff, and I know, you know, girls can eat that stuff too, but I mean, you, you know. think Mountain Dew and beef jerky means boy? Definitely, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I don't know, I can't drink Mountain Dew and eat beef jerky, so I don't know <laughs> if that means boy, but you're drinking chocolate milk. Yes. And she's told you she's eating for two. Yes. <clears throat> and you say he loved the Mexican food you ate the other day. Yeah. How do you know that he loved it? It was the cheese and stuff because um, he didn't let me eat at first. Like he would, I would regurgitate it. And usually, like I don't eat very much in the first place. So that's when I knew I was pregnant. I started eating a bunch. Yeah. Like she I, eats all the time. You eat said. all the time. I've been eating a lot lately, yeah. um, even when I didn't want to, because when I'm around them too, I really don't want to eat. That's bull crap. She would. You eat. don't make me want to eat. I mean, we cannot stop cute. her from eating. She's eating all the time. Well, you had a picture that you had posted um, <laughs> on one of your social media platforms uh, in a bathing suit after you, you were pregnant. And um, it was, um, it didn't look like a, a pregnant picture. You, you were in a bathing suit, it was kind of from the side. And I think at that point you were two or three months pregnant. That's this. That is not when, no, that's, I am pregnant, but that picture was from a long time ago. But that wasn't taken while you were pregnant? No. Okay. Okay, you posted it last month, but it was taken a long time ago. Like 2014 or 2016. Okay. Before you got pregnant. Oh, yeah. That okay. was a long well, time ago. I was wondering, because you just posted it last month. Oh, it was my profile picture. I reset it as my profile picture. Your mother and sister think you lie. Have you told some things that aren't true? You are not a lie detector test and you need to shut it. So I'm trying to find out what you know to be true and what you don't know to be true. You said I donated a kidney to my brother. I didn't know this was gonna go on. Your mother and sister think you lie. Have you told some things that aren't true? Not the pregnancy, because you, you say that is true, but have you told some things that aren't true? Yeah, I lie about where I'm going and stuff sometimes. Well, I made a list. Um, and we've talked about the pregnancy. You say it's a boy, you say you're seeing colors now. You say you're eating for two. You, you say the baby likes you drinking chocolate milk. You're going to breastfeed, right? 
you made Pro, that decision? I, I don't think I can breastfeed because... So you may not breastfeed? I may not. Why not? Well, I don't think anything's, like, producing in my boobs right now. But they said, I've had some people tell me that maybe after I give birth, then that's when my boobs will produce some milk. But I, I may not be able to. I'm just going to have to see what happens. Uh -huh. Well, I made a list of the things that you two have said that you believe are lies. Mm -hmm. um, one is, you don't believe she's pregnant. You say, I'm nine days away from giving birth. You don't believe that. Right. I've had my tonsils taken out. Did you have your tonsils taken out? Did I? No. Well, you said you did. Uh, I don't think that was me. I don't think I've, I don't think I've had my tonsils taken out. Well, you said you did. Did she say she did? Yeah, she did. Uh... And you've told doctors on your records that you did. Yes, that's where we saw it, on the records. I don't remember saying that. It was on your records from the health department that you put on there saying that you had your tonsils removed. Records from the health department? Mm-hmm, I saw it. That I put on the records from the health department? Yes, that you had I your tonsils taken out. I did not say that. Out. What's that? I did not say that I had my tonsils taken out. Okay. You said my mom was doing meth when she was pregnant with me. Yeah. W were you doing meth when you were pregnant? No, not at all. Never, no. With her, when I was pregnant with her, I almost stopped smoking cigarettes. I mean, I, I was clean with all my pregnancies. Okay. You said, and to us, you said, I, I spoke full sentences before I started crawling. Yeah. No, she spoke. I've she been in the doctor's speaking, office. Well, not crawling, yeah. walking. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing because, you know, a baby stands up. And yeah. Anyways, but yeah. You can swim uh, when the baby first I've never away. stolen from my mom. That's a lie. You said, I donated a kidney to my brother. That's a lie. Did you I, donate a kidney to your brother? Um, I have not donated a kidney to my brother, but my mom told me while she was mad at me one day that... I think it was it was probably my sister. Here comes it was it was mom. one of them, and um, that I was born. I, my mom only had gotten pregnant with me to use me as a guinea pig for my brother because he was so sick. <coughs> no, that's another law. So you mean like you were a parts department, or she yeah. had you for parts? So, yeah, something like that. Yeah. No, you were a surprise. Yeah, says the one who lets this guy into your house and call me a hoe and kick me out while I'm pregnant. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, well, listen, I'm trying to find out what you, what you know to be true and what you don't know to be true. You said, I donated a kidney to my brother. Do you know that you said that? I didn't say that. Yes, you did. I did not say that. Yes, you did. I've you are not a lie detector test, and you need to shut it. I don't need it. one to know that you that's need to a lie shut it. you did say that. You need to be quiet. It was on Maybe. the records from the health department that we picked up and gave to them. I did not say that. You didn't. Yes, you did. Not that you said it's, it. You told, them, you told the people at the health department that because it was on the records, and I saw it right before we sent them out. Okay, this is helpful to me because I, I need to know if, if you realize that you said that because it's in writing that you said it. I'm just trying to see if you recall saying that. Okay, you, well, I didn't say that. I'm sorry, Dr. Phil, okay, I didn't I, say that. I don't that, know whether you did or not, I'm just but, asking I you. I mean, you know, they're also trying to say that I don't have paranoid schizophrenia when it's all in the paperwork. We never said that. So okay. I didn't we say that. We never to say that. I don't okay. know what that is. That needs to get off the screen. Like, I don't recall anything because I didn't say that. Haley tells people that she's paranoid schizophrenic, but she's never been diagnosed. I have been prescribed medication for my paranoid schizophrenia. I was talking to you! She's been sent to two mental hospitals and she puts on a show and they end up letting her go. I'm a real crazy bitch. My doctor diagnosed me with paranoid schizophrenia. Haley tells people that she's paranoid schizophrenic, but she's never been diagnosed. I have been prescribed medication for my paranoid schizophrenia, but I can't take it right now because I'm pregnant. She's one person one minute and completely different person in the next minute. I was talking to you! Nobody's talking to you, little ho- Tom!
Uh, you're the whore. Uh, you're the whore. I think Haley's problem is that she has a problem with lying, and I do think it's a mixture with a mental illness. She's been sent to two mental hospitals and nothing has been accomplished. Every time she puts on a show, like everything's fine and they end up letting her go. There was one time that she did go away to a place and they kept her for a month or two. And she came out taking a mood stabilizer. She did okay and she started taking it when she felt like it and not taking it right and she went downhill pretty quick. My medications, they make me kind of loopy, tired, kind of angry sometimes. My biggest fear is that Haley's gonna hurt herself or someone's gonna hurt her. Have you said that you have your GED? Yes. Do you? Yes, I do. No, you do not. I went to ASU for two weeks no, you did not. after I had got out of the school, and my paperwork is at my house. No, you did not. That is one of the things that I forgot to grab. You got kicked out like sophomore year. She does not have her GED. Yes, I do. No, you Wait, do not. She started taking the classes, yes, I do. and then she started leaving there to go get All rides stuff, with other look, people and never When I had gotten finished. kicked out of the house, there was this cab, like a little tiny truck, uh -huh. uh, with just a bed in it, you know, it's ran down, it's sitting in the back of my yard in what? like mud that's <sighs> sinking. I had to put all my stuff in there and it's my paperwork, it has my GED papers, my folder and all of that in it. Well, but there'll be a record that it was yes. issued and the place that you say you got your GED says they never issued you a GED. How would you explain that? Do you have a video? Just, I'm just saying, if, if that's true, how would you explain that? But I know I didn't say that. Okay, and so, you say you know you have a GED, but if they yes, don't have a record of you getting a GED... I, I have it. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. But you didn't bring it? No, I didn't bring it, because I didn't know it was going to be... I didn't know this was going to go on. I didn't know this was going to go on. So, yeah. but yes, I have my GED. Uh-huh. And what was your score on your GED, do you recall? I just passed it. I had to take it like twice. You can only take it three times before you have to start paying for it. And uh, I failed the first time because, you know, you have to do it uh, computer on the computer and whatnot. And uh, I failed it once, so I had to go back and take it. That's why it took me two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I got it on the second time. It said that I passed my GED test because I had to take the GED ready test first, and then I went and took uh -huh. the GED test, mm -hmm. and I passed it. And um, I think the score that I'd made on my reading and my math and stuff like that, it was like average or something, so. Mm -hmm. I've had a job and driver's permit since age 14. I give every check to my family. Yes, that's true. So you have a driver's permit since you were 14? Yeah, I've had a worker's permit um, since I was 14. When we had first moved, I told him I wanted to work at Kroger. And so uh, I went with my stepdad okay. and got my worker's permit. I have a lawyer to help get my disability check. Yes. Do you, do you have a lawyer? I do have a lawyer, yes. It took me um, quite a while to find them because there's not very many disability lawyers. Uh -huh. But yes, I do have a lawyer for my disability check. Okay. Let's take a break. Coming up, if Haley is indeed about to give birth, who is going to take care of the baby? We're going to talk about that after the break. Have, have you been on American Idol? It looks like me. Like, maybe. You were either on American Idol or you weren't. It looked like me on a video singing into a microphone. After I have the kid, you're not going to be around him. That's for sure. I'm so disappointed in you. But yet you want to live in my house and you wanted me to take care of you. I never asked you. Yeah, you did. Yes, take you care did. Of my kids. Yes, yes, you, you did. did. You're lying. I didn't ask you to take care of it. I asked you to help me and to believe that I was pregnant when everybody else was going to deny him. Well, 19-year-old Haley insists she's nine months pregnant despite six negative pregnancy tests and a family who says that she's actually lying. She also claims uh, she's been on American Idol, that Eminem is her father, and she says that she's been diagnosed as paranoid schizophrenic. Have, have you been on American Idol? I was invited to it, and I had this guy come up to me. I think I was drinking at a party, 
And uh, he was like, you were on American Idol, weren't you? And he showed me this video, and it looked just like me. And I was like, I probably was. Like, I don't really know. And um, so this guy went around saying, Haley's on American Idol, Haley's on American Idol. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's not really true, but I have a bunch of rumors about me, so. Well, have you told people you were on American Idol? I have not told people I was on American Idol. Has she told people she yes, was on American yes, Idol? Yes, she did. How do you know? Because they were, uh, when she had start, first started going to school when we moved there at Arkansas, all the kids were coming to me and asking me because that's what she had told them. Okay. Did you tell people you were on American Idol? I didn't tell anybody I was on American Idol. There was this guy that just went around saying that I was on American Idol. And he showed me this video, like I said. And you said, maybe I was? No, I didn't say it. Well, just now, you said, you know, like, maybe I was. It looked like me. Like, maybe. Maybe I could have been somewhere where they were videotaping. How do you like, get if you I've were done on karaoke and whatnot, but I mean, it looked like me. I, well, you were either on American Idol or you weren't. It looked like me on a video singing into a microphone. So, I, I you know, anything, anybody can do anything with a video. This guy came up to me and he was like, were you on American Idol? And well, I no, like, I'm asking you? you. I'm not asking what some guy saw you. I'm asking you if you were on American Idol. No, I didn't say that I was on American Idol. Did you tell people you were on American Idol? I did not tell people I was on American Idol. Okay, so you were not on American Idol and you didn't tell people you were on American Idol. Exactly. Okay. Did you tell people that Eminem is your father? Yes, I did. She I mean, knows who her dad is. Do you really believe you're... Oh, I do. Yes, I do. I don't think it's that crazy, honestly. Cause I 